everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. All right, guys, we need to have a serious talk. Lately, I've been looking at video analytics, and I've noticed we've had over 200,000 views, and for that, I thank you. Would it be crazy to ask for 75,000 likes on this video? I know you guys can do it. Cornstar gets to do a little playing today. I'm gonna run the excavator for a while. I asked the boys if they cared if I run it for a little bit. Just be kind of fun to play with it. See if I can do it. Kind of looking forward to it, actually. It'll be fun. Give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like in the excavator. I gotta grease it up yet. It's always important. You wanna grease this stuff up every day. I did check the engine oil, the radiator, the water, made sure the air filter was clean. Even when you're renting equipment and stuff, you always want to take good care of it because the next person wants to know that it was taken care of and can run good too. If everybody abuses them, then the rental places, they're going to have to up their rates to pay for that. I really thank readers. They did a beautiful job keeping this machine clean. Everything looks up to snuff. Thank you, readers. You're doing a great job. Give them a call. See what anything you need. I bet they can get it for you. Oh, boy, that's a big treat. What are you doing in there? The phone has just been ringing off the phone. I'm going to go out and run it here in a few minutes if I ever get out of here. You ever ran one of these before? No, I haven't. For never driving one before, I'd say he's doing pretty good. This is exciting, guys. This is Dad's maiden voyage in the excavator. We're gonna give you guys an in the cab view of Dad, so I need to get the GoPro ready. And yes, he does look funny when he has the GoPro in his head. <laughs> Hello. That was the tree demo, man. It's Daddy Cornstar right now. Look out. We have to cross this bridge. So we're gonna lay down some tires for the excavator to walk on so that way we don't damage the bridge. That worked pretty good. And yes, we did call and we got permission to do that. It's really awkward learning how to operate the excavator for the first time. Probably takes a good day before you get the feel of it. That was his first tree. Good job, Dad. Oh, now he's backfilling it. An advanced technique already. Wow. All right, we need to hop up there and give him the GoPro. And now he's off on his own. They just grow up so fast. Yeah, there's a lot of trees over here. Why do I have a feeling Dad's going to shatter the window today? I guess we'll find out. While Dad's baha around over there, I'm gonna go get the bobcat. I'm gonna smooth out all this dirt and I'm gonna clean up all these tree branches. Uh, gonna take a little bit of use here. Yeehaw! Yeah, there. One thing, these little buggers don't go too fast, but they got a lot of power. Fun time to cave off bank. It's fun running this machine. The only thing is, it seems like everything is so backward to me compared to the uh, Arbaco. So I'm having a little bit of uh, issues kind of learning things, I guess. I'm gonna take this thing off my head for a little bit. I'm kind of used to the back go and the levers are totally different here. I think once I get to know it, there we go. The one thing a guy wants to remember, I mean, like me, you can tell I'm not very good at this, but you just want to stay calm and go slow so you don't get hurt. This thing's got a lot of power and it can throw a tree right into you. Cooper and Cole have been running this for a while and they make it look pretty easy. Come on, let's get them out. Trying to get the roots out is what I'm trying to do. Looking at people run a big old excavator or something, you think, well, how hard can that be? My hats are off to you guys. Make sure you push the trees because if they come flying at you, they could end up in your cab. Take a little longer for me to get to know this machine than I thought it would. I'm on there. Let's pull you out by the roots. Kind of felt like a dentist there. Take them by the teeth and pull them out. Come on there. Roar on out. A little bit closer. Starting to feel like a little bit of it's coming to me now, but maybe not as fast as I thought it would. Yeehaw! That's one nice thing about it. The thing swings a long ways, and that wasn't the brightest move. Hey bud, can you call Central Glass and see if they can put a new front windshield on this thing? Just shattered it. Make sure you push the trees because if they come flying at you, they could end up in your cab. Ooh. <laughs> Today in the shop, it is just me and I'm taking off these closing wheels. We are replacing them with some Yetter closing wheels. That'll be a lot nicer. Should do a better job than these old ones. I'm gonna take those off. 
I missed. Oh, it's gone. Yep. There it goes. Holy cow. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's still moving. Better luck next time. <sighs> Failed that one. There we go. Yep. Not looking a for a for looking forward to doing 32 of these you got to do what you got to do so i'm gonna start tearing into those we grab them here these will be the new ones the little spikes on them we will start tearing these apart but first i'm gonna go clean my work area here so i don't lose bolts nuts etc much better or crooked straight now oh there we go now that got half of the closing wheels off we're going to put these new ones on one goes on the right and one goes on the left pre-self-explanatory drill wrong socket and a socket and a pop mm. You know, this ain't easy. I almost need two cameras. Cole's gone. You know what that means. I get his camera. I'm gonna set you up right over there. And then we'll have like two angles going on here. Um, ciao, two. So first, we're gonna take all these bolts off. And then we'll slap the new one on. And then we'll just repeat. One off, 31 to go. Sometimes these can be fun. It should set in there. I'm gonna get a rubber mount. Something just don't seem quite right. Forgot I line the holes. Oh! Finally got one done. After like, I don't know how long. Put the bolts in, well, maybe. It might not be lined up. Ugh. This is gonna take some time, that's for sure. One done. <laughs> well, I had some fun running the excavator this morning. Tell you what, you guys that run them for a living, you make it look easy. Yeah. I got a lot of learning to do on it yet. I was starting to feel a little bit more comfortable on it. And then, had to break the windshield on the front. Cooper's out running it right now. I'm gonna go check a few things out here in the field. I think Neva is gonna run the skid loader pushing dirt. She's a pro at it. Man, Cooper makes this digging thing look easy. But anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Neva and I are gonna try something that you shouldn't do at home. We shouldn't be doing it, but we're doing it anyway. That's riding double on the old CR125F. Don't fall. This is so bad, so dangerous. Yes. You dropped the headphones. You had to go back for it. She's got to get the headphones. I'll tell you what, she's fearless on that thing. This is looking so much different. So I've been plowing around with the Bobcat for a few hours. I've repaired several areas just like this that are full of holes that were three foot deep. Now I got them all leveled out. So far, I've done from right here to the bridge, which is only about 100 yards. So we have about a half a mile worth of creek still to do. Neva wants to get some more time on the seat. So she's going to take over. That's right. I am. And I'm going to do a better job than Cole. Cole's going to let me ride in the bucket. Currently sitting in the bucket. I don't know if you guys can tell. Not really scary. It's just really bumpy. Do not try this at home. I told Cole that I really wanted a horse, but if he's going to be giving me rides like this, I don't need a horse. That was fun. Thanks, babe. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. He just changed the bucket. He went from that bucket to that thing. Time for your training. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what you call teamwork right there. I think Neva just kicked Cole out of the skid loader. I was just watching to make sure she wasn't gonna try to run him over. There you go, Coop. There goes Neva. Hey, Dad, what you doing? Digging out a tile line. Dirt was falling around it. Dad, how do you feel that you've broke two windshields in two days? I know, that's what I was thinking about. And then this winter, broke the one out of the front of the back hole. So last couple months haven't been good. I just feel more bad about the excavator since that's not our machine, but we'll pay to have a new one put in it. That's not a problem. You still feel bad. Well, I made it almost two weeks without going to the grocery store, but now I had to load up. I better be really careful. I'm using Cole's really good camera right now. 
now since I broke a windshield of the skid loader yesterday and I broke the excavator's window this morning I better be extra careful I guess what we're gonna do now waiting for the lights to brighten up here in the shop me and Cooper we're gonna work on the 24 row planner we got some stuff we can be doing on that yet we're still waiting for some parts and then on the 16 row planner over here we got a whole bunch of uh, press wheels back here we're taking them off and we're gonna put in a new style so we're gonna be busy this afternoon we got 32 wheels I guess to change on that and this is what we're putting on these are supposed to be a lot better we'll be doing both planners with these kinds of wheels we got to get the wheels yet for the 24 row planner let's see if we can get things started I'll try to think of something to entertain you guys with today I always come up with something so trust me I'll make it good and I know one thing I'm getting thirsty Cooper's out there riding Neva motorcycle and I tell you what if he ends up wrecking it or anything like that I think Neva would actually kick his butt she's really proud of that motorcycle and we want to keep it looking nice all right let's get things started I'm gonna get off the skid loader really quick so I can pick up a few of these sticks that are all over the place so I can get in there nice and easily did a lot of work down there, Natalie. And we do have a first aid kit, Natalie, if you need one. As we're going along pulling out trees, we have to be looking out for stuff like this. So this is a tile. What a tile does is it runs underground and then water is able to get inside of this and then it flows down here and it drains into the creek. Mama Cornstar just got home with groceries, so I'm going to run up and help her undo the groceries. Cooper and Natalie are going to go out and check on Neva because Neva is running the skid loader pushing dirt. And then they're going to go check on Cole to see if he needs anything. And then they'll be back to help me. Hey, I made a bridge. And a hole. Sometimes you get trees that have a massive root system. Like this one. So now I'll take the bucket and I'll knock all that dirt off, try to lighten up that root ball. And then we'll figure out how to drag the tree out. Camera runs for about two minutes and then it looks like the picture goes away and I thought you could see it the whole time. So we're gonna see if it dies here in a second. Give it a minute. Give it time, give it time. I have to sneeze. I've been running around all morning and afternoon doing all kinds of good footage. And I realized, well, Cooper and Natalie found out I was pushing the wrong button, so nothing got recorded. Natalie, you have anything to say about that? Me... Natalie even likes Mountain Dew. If I would have got the Mountain Dew and they weren't looking, I would have shook the cans up. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm gonna drink a Mountain Dew and we're gonna see if we can get something. But I'll be ready for this camera tomorrow and stuff. We'll get some more footage. I just feel kind of bad that things weren't working right. It's all fun and games so you get a screwdriver stuck in your hand. But don't think about that, Natalie. Nothing will happen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you make this look a lot easier than it is. Natalie complains as much as her mother. We're gonna have a race here. Natalie is gonna see if she can beat Cooper. I should get a head start. Ooh. Hi there, Neva. We're in a competition here. They're gonna see who can cut this tire off the fastest. Oh, got it. Oh. 47 seconds. <laughs> you ought to see her skin a deer. She can do it in two and a half minutes. <laughs> How's it going out there, Neva? It's going good. Cooper here really quick. Set, go. <laughs> that's not even... How many times has he done it? He's done all of those. Oh, well, that's not fair. <laughs> it's cheating. <laughs> Stop it. 20.5 seconds. Let me do another one. I feel like I can beat it. Go. Oh, where's my screwdriver? Where's my screwdriver? <laughs> Pressure is on. Happened? Where did it go? Good job, Natalie. Oh, hiding the... I didn't do it. Four and a half minutes. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> I like his determination. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Jeez, Cooper, you're fast. Did I get it? 18 seconds. Nice. Cole, you're out running the excavator and you can see what I'm dealing with. Set, go. <laughs> no, loosen up. Nope, he's done. <laughs> you ought to see Cooper when we get cereal that has the little toys in the bottom of the box. Two and a half seconds, he's got that toy out of the bottom. You going back out to work out there? I am, I'm gonna go run the excavator. Oh jeez. Since Cole's not here, any bad things you want to say about him today? Not that I can think of. Was that hard, Cole? No. <laughs> now we gotta pull it out. We got half of it. Ooh. 
video things on, so you don't want to say anything real bad about coal or anything. Look what Luke carries, a switchblade. Shh. Hey there, Mama Corn Star. Mama Corn Star went beyond tonight. We're having frozen pizza, but I don't know if any of you people know it or not, but some of us Corn Stars, we love pizza. Now that I'm being blinded by Neva's cell phone, we had a pretty solid day in the estimator. Hey, Dad's here. 100% waterproof. Now I gotta drive the skid loader back up to the house because that doesn't have a front windshield either. <sighs> At least my pickup does. What happened to the windshield, young man? I don't know, you were the one who did it. Let's go eat. Mama Corn Star has supper ready, I think. Did you remember? hit the record button this time none of them will let me forget it this ain't easy guys 